Welcome to this channel on magnetic energy, technology, principles, and applications. This video is about magnetic energy and teleportation. Just a quick warning, this is very unconventional information. This model, this etheric model of the universe, magnetic energy model, is based on many brilliant minds and technology over the last hundred years and well, well beyond that. So, <laughs> please read into that if you will. And this is just going to be another rant, <laughs> another rant of mine about how current science and current technology is incredibly limited in their understanding of everything. And that's okay. And that's an overstatement. So please, I don't mean any to be offensive by that. But this whole thing of teleportation has has started to like come into mainstream science and this idea of being able to use quantum technology to teleport if you will <laughs> but when when you get into the magnetic energy model teleportation actually is one of those things that is a byproduct of this model and it's it's very consistent with how this model works so i feel like it's my obligation to talk about teleportation from the magnetic energy point of view and to set things straight if possible <laughs> whatever that even means for the future. So one of the issues that we run into with conventional science is this whole idea of what the nature of reality is, what the nature of matter is, and how we are living in this empiricism model that is so incredibly limiting in its view of the universe. And one of the reasons why this Einsteinian paradigm has been able, and this empirical paradigm has been able to withstand time and and kind of still be in our face is number one <laughs> the level of conscious awareness of the universe is very limited right now and number two the technology hasn't reached a point yet to where this the empiricism model just crumbles but as people if and when people start to have an expanded conscious awareness of the universe and beyond the physical reality into other dimensions the current scientific model will completely crumble and not only that but as you start to move with technology forward into other dimensional technology and 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 you, you get this reinterpretation of what's happening with electricity and with everything around us, then the model, the empirical model starts to crumble and you start to have to embrace an etherical model, an interdimensional model of the universe and how matter and everything essentially works. And that opens the door to magnetic energy. It opens the door to all kinds of amazing things like teleportation. So when you think about matter and what we are commonly our common existence and 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 what we can see here and touch we are only experiencing the tip of the iceberg of reality of what we truly are and i think a, a, most of you watching this video will probably already know that because you're probably pretty metaphysical unless someone that's in a science happens to stumble upon this video so it's it's this idea that not only do we go infinitely deep and complex to the smaller size, like if you're talking about molecular structures or energetic structures, what we do as a human being and, and really of all matter, but even in the, in the human existence, we go infinitely near infinitely deep at the energetic level, but then also we are tapped into and that's so minuscule size, microscopic size, it goes to a near infinitesimally small, <laughs> that's a repeat. But we also expand out into energy fields that go near infinite, to a near infinite level throughout the universe and we are connected to those fields. So we're multidimensional and we have a lot, lot going on that we don't perceive or, or really experience in our day-to-day -day existence. So when it comes to teleportation, the idea of simply replicating uh, some sort of molecules or atomic structure and you think, oh, we're just going to beam someone from this location to that location because we've mapped out their molecules and we're just going to copy that. Not only is that completely absurd and completely ridiculous from a magnetic energy point of view, but you will, you will destroy living 
organisms, living creatures, living beings every single time you do that. And so it's so important to think of us as interdimensional beings. And when you teleport, all of that information, all of those systems need to come with that teleportation process. That's really critical. So the idea here is when you're using magnetic technology to teleport someone, what you do is you have a field surrounding that person. And so you have a, what could be called a relatively neutral pulsing magnetic field. And what we do in that field is not only do we, we increase the intensity of the etheric flow, we increase the pulse rate of the etheric flow, and we heighten that whole experience so that every, so you have a bubble of energy. And that bubble of energy is now phasing in and out of this dimensional reality, this plane of existence, and it's tapping into higher planes of existence. Everything contained within that bubble is going to go through the same experience. Now, it's easy for us to attract the bubble with technology because it's relatively neutral. We can duplicate it so we can attract that bubble, say, from this location to another location. And then every single thing, everything within that, no matter how deep or, or how infinitely connected it is, will come with that system. And so that way, you're not simply trying to target molecules or the arrangement of molecules because if you were to try to truly do that in the magnetic model and go as deep as we really go, you're talking about such enormous complexity that supercomputers aren't even remotely close to doing that. But now here's something really cool though in the magnetic energy model. As you start to breach dimensional membranes, if you will, and so you have high pulsing energy fields that are surrounding your contents and that could be a living being it could be just objects and by the way that could be very large or could be very small keep in mind when magnetic energy comes online teleportation is going to be as common as what we think of as electronic communication today so you will be able to teleport very very minute things up to very large things and you'll be able to do that all over the place all over our planet and far far beyond that because we're tapping outside of space and time so when you have that bubble of energy and it essentially it coalesces into one large pulsing field and that way it moves as one pulse interdimensionally to its destination to its attracted destination now everything within that pulse so say let's just say a human being for example maintains the structural integrity it maintains all of the relative relationship the molecular relationship one mo one molecule to another and there's a little bit of einsteinian thinking in that but the thing is we are already interdimensional and when we transfer our energy to a higher dimension and then to another location and then come back to this dimension, we maintain structural integrity and the relative relationship from one molecule to another is maintained even in that higher dimension. That's really cool. But here's something else that is really profound from the magnetic energy point of view. As soon as we get into a higher dimensional uh, vibra vibratory existence, consciousness becomes a very powerful driving force so you hear there's it's common in metaphysical thinking to say oh you create your reality but the struggle with that in this current dimension is that people they may have all kinds of visualization and all kinds of techniques that they use to try to create their reality but they're coming if they're coming more from an egoic point of view or from a very limited consciousness point of view like within their brain for example that process can either take a long time or it can be very slow or it's very hit or miss, all of those things. But when you get into a higher dimensional vibration, consciousness is instantaneously responsive and it's all encompassing and all inclusive. So if you will yourself or intend yourself to go to another location, all of you, and I'm talking every part of you interdimensionally down to microscopic depths that we can't even come close to measuring at this point out to infinite expansion of the energy fields that we're connected to all of that comes with that conscious intention at a higher level of vibration at a higher level of awareness or or an interdimensional a higher dimension so that 
that's really cool because it gives us the ability to teleport using our conscious intention to help that process. Now it can be done mechanically or with machines or energy fields or crystals and there's a, there's there will be a whole variety of ways to do that but it's awesome to think that not only is our consciousness involved in that process but it could play a very key role in teleportation technology and processes not only that but you're just one step away from duplication processes with that same technology as well as essentially redistributing matter or what that would look like is turning garbage into nothing as well as creating apports or what that would be uh, essentially creating objects of any kind out of the etheric flow out of etheric energy so consciousness starts really it's the interface of technology and consciousness when you get into this magnetic energy thing and that boy does that change evolution and change our perception and our scientific model and so let's hope and pray that we are still on that track to do that because it may seem pretty bleak right now to a lot of people but things are going to turn around things are going to change and there's a lot of reasons why and it's part of a natural cycle but it's also that we're in a bit of a time crunch because of what our current paradigm of technology and science has essentially done to humanity the train is running toward the cliff and we are definitely going to need some pretty massive shifts pretty quickly and not, not to be negative that's not a negative thing this is a positive thing and everything that's happened in the past has been for a reason it's all been an excellent buildup and electricity has served has served an incredible purpose even building the foundation of understanding and awareness of science to lead into magnetic technology which is a massive quantum leap forward and with that said and teleportation, yay, it's coming, it's not too far off. Real teleportation. Oh, one last thing. Science may think that inanimate objects, such as like, let's say you're teleporting a rock. They may say, well, shoot, a rock doesn't have, there's no consciousness involved in a rock. A rock is a dead piece of matter. All we need to do is copy the, the atomic arrangement and we'll just teleport it from here to there. Again, don't target the object in teleportation. Always target the field that we create around the object. The field is relatively neutral. The field has the etheric flow in it. Even a rock is highly dependent on universal processes and the flow of etheric energy, if you want to call it etheric energy or magnetic energy, through that system at all times and you may say, well, it doesn't really matter. But the problem is, is once we start tuning into higher technology and higher awareness, we start to realize the interconnectivity of everything at a higher dimension, including inanimate objects, and how important it is to maintain those subatomic molecular configurations, those magnetic resonance signatures that control basically how the etheric energy flows in and out of those objects. And yeah, you may say, well, it's no big deal, who cares? But it all contributes to an overall balance of universal energies, planetary energies around us and everything. And there's a lot of subtle energies. And as people tune into those and they start to see beyond the physical reality, they'll say, wait a minute, this type of object that you just made, this plastic or, or something that you've distorted the elements of, this doesn't have the energy flowing through it that we can utilize like this natural object does. The energy flowing through rocks, flowing through crystals, flowing through inanimate objects becomes very useful in an enlightened society. And so you want to teleport according to the fields around the object so that you bring everything with it. All those interdimensional processes, all that etheric exchange of energy, you want all those systems to come intact and in place in that teleportation process. I can't stress that enough. That's the main point of this video, is to not get wrapped up into this empirical model that we're, that we're just simply what we see and touch, because that's completely ridiculous. And with that said, I will see you next time.